Hello everyone and welcome to the new YouTube tutorial and we'll be talking about lip sync It's going to be a character lip sync and I'm going to show you how you can create this animation that I'm gonna play now and I'm gonna show you two ways you can do it This is the first one Okay, I like it, Picasso And this is the second one Okay, I like it, Picasso in the first example, I used static mouths and in the second example, I created animated mouths and I think I like this one better. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you these two ways with a super, super cool tool that you can download today. And I also have a special discount for you. Let's get this animation started. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I already have this character imported into After Effects and I organized my file. So now I only have the layers that I will be animating. So as you can see here, uh, my character doesn't have a mouth yet just because I have to uh, import the mouths now so I can show you how to create the lip sync. So let's do that now. I'm going to import the mouths. So here are all the mouths that I'm going to be using for the lip sync. There are a few very important things that I want you to point out here. First, it's good to name your mouths uh, based on the, you know, the sound that this mouth is making. For example, this is A-E-E. -E. Second, just make sure that all the mouths are at the center of your composition and third make sure each and every one of these mouths is on a separate frame great here we go so frame one we have this one frame two we have this one great so now let me show you the plugin that i'm going to be using how to install it and how to load these mouths and create your beautiful lip sync animation so click on the link in the description and you'll see this page the first 15 people who download the plugin will have a 15 percent discount so make sure you go ahead and check it out and then from there uh, you can just add the code the code and everything will be in the description as i mentioned then you can uh, purchase this plugin this plugin is called sf Caddy and it's perfect for character animation it's super easy super effective i can't believe i didn't know about this plugin until now and i'm super excited to show you what you can do with it so you can copy this file that you can see here then you can open page three from the readme file so you can see where to paste this you can open your after effects go go to windows and then sf caddy when you do that you'll see a panel like this so now let's go back to our character and now these are the mouths that i imported and let me add these mouths here and I will just need to adjust um, the scale a bit and the position. So now make sure you have your pre-composition clicked and then click load items. Look at this. This is so, so beautiful and so, so useful. The first thing that I'm noticing here is that this background is gray and it's it makes it a bit hard to see. And so I am going to click here on the settings. You see this option that's called back cover. If you click on it, you can change the background and I wanted to make it black. That makes it easier for me to see the mouse. But the other thing that I'm noticing is that this whole thing is just too big and i'm going to change the composition size to a thousand and a thousand here okay perfect so now if i go back and i click on this one and then click load items again okay so now this is much better so you can click on any of these mouths and add them to your composition however there are other very useful things you can do for example if you click while holding out you add a mouth and jump two frames so you know how in lip sync it's best to change the mouth every two frames if you do it on every frame it looks uh just too dynamic okay so now let's start animating this guy okay so first i want you to add a neutral mouth i'm gonna make this my neutral mouth okay I the movement of the lips should start here this is where he says okay so okay I like so there is an o here i'm gonna click it by holding out so i can jump two frames okay I like and there is a k here so he says okay k okay i like okay and there is an e here okay e i'm holding out again so we can jump two frames okay i like and there is a K here. E, I like. E, there is an E here. E, I like it. There is an L here. I like it. I like it. There is an A here. I like it. There is an L here. 
There is a T here. And now we're just gonna jump directly here. So there is a P here. There is a K here. There is an S and an O. Okay, so this is the lip sync. Okay, I like it, Picasso. This is what we have now. But as you can see here, there are a lot of changing mouths. Like here, I just find this one being a, a bit too much. So I think I'm going to delete some of these keyframes. For example, I would like to delete this marker. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Okay, great. Okay, great. I think we're ready with this okay, one. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Okay. So that was the first way you can create the lip sync. So now let me show you the other way, which is with animated mouths. And I, I personally, as you mentioned, prefer this one. And I'm going to also show you a few shortcuts, how to make your workflow even faster and even easier. So stick with me. So I actually duplicated the character and duplicated the mouths because we will need to create a different precomposition. First, I want to select all these mouths and i'm going to create shapes from these vector files what we would like to do would be to animate each and every mouth this is my animation of the e so it's like e and then i'm going to animate the other mouths i'm ready and these are my animated mouths. So this is the A, Q, this is the O, and then uh, this one, F and V one is static. Then we have the C, D, G, K, and etc. Then we have E, then we have L, then we have U, and again, I'm going to add it here to my character. And now, uh, just remember, these are the old mouths. So what we have to do would be to click load items again. I would actually just want to change uh, the size of this composition again. So I'm going to make it 1000 to 1000 pixels. And I just want to make sure everything is at the center. Uh, okay, now click load items again. The other thing that I want to tell you is something very important. If you decide to add mouths, you can do that. Just make sure you add it at the end of the composition and don't change the just the order of the mouths that you already have because the way this plugin works is by uh, enabling time remapping and obviously if you change something in your pre-composition like the place of this one to this one, it, you, just, um, you just mess up your composition. I wanted to see which ones of these mouths are static so fv and the last two so i want to mark these so i'm going to hold control and click and i'm going to change their label to red so that would mean in my case that this is static and same here that would be red and same here that would be red too. I won't be changing the mouth every two frames just because otherwise you won't even see that they are animated and it will just look too head trick. So um, I'm going to click on the settings tool here and then look at this option here. So it says shortcut out plus click jump two frames. I'm actually going to change this to five frames and then I'm going to click save. Now let's start animating. Uh, I'm going to again start with a static mouth hold out and click on this mouth that is static okay, I like and then we start with an O so we have O okay, I like it. and now look what happens here so this is a duration of the O animation so if I play it look at this okay, I like it. oh all right great so what I can do would be to just shorten this animation okay I like it okay I like and it will actually start here so it's like oh okay, I like and then the K starts here okay uh, hold out while clicking it. K E. K I like. K and then we have E. K I like it. So the A is like that, but I want it to be the other way around. So uh, I'm going to click on Shift while clicking this one, and that would reverse the animation. So look at this. K I like it because. K I like it. Now I'm going to repeat the same process by adding mouths based on the sounds that I hear in the audio. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Okay, I like it, Picasso. I would definitely recommend you download the SF Cutty. 
plugin. It, I don't know how I didn't know about this sooner, to be honest, because I was spending hours uh, working on lip sync and it was so annoying and just so hard. Final thing before we go is if you click on the settings tool here, you see a bunch of advanced settings. One thing that I think it's super useful is this one. So you can change in the advanced option. You can change from markers to keyframes. And what this does is, yeah, so look at this panel here, convert markers to keyframes and then click save. And uh, what you can do here is, as you can see, this shows you the time remapping that was used and generated from SF Cutty. You can just copy these keyframes and paste them here. Okay, I like it, Picasso. Then after that, if you want, you can again convert these to markers, convert keyframes to markers, and here you go. So once again, guys, there is a special discount for you if you want to purchase SF Caddy. The first 15 people who purchase the plugin will have a 15% discount. The link will be in the description, so make sure you click on the link and then you can purchase it from there. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If so, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Have a great holiday season and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye-bye, guys.